and the other and the defender mm -hmm. teacher has a pistol. It's a hugely unequal match, and you know it takes it takes forever to train a Delta team or a Special Forces team at Fort Bragg. They have the shooting houses where they create all sorts of <clears throat> scenarios, and these guys go in and spend hours going through. This, and they have these targets that come up and some of them are maybe a woman holding a baby or maybe a, a, a bad guy with a rifle but they can get confused uh, and the trick is for, for the under stress for this sergeant to know what the hell to shoot at mm -hmm. uh, and they work at that you're not gonna have a teacher who may go into a rifle range once or twice or a pistol range qualified to defend anything, particularly if, it, if the other guy has an air <clears throat> The air, I can hit closer that big at 200 meters with an air 15 easily. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a totally unequal match. So, Tony, in order to make America safer again from that perspective, we would outlaw the use of semi automatic weapons. Well, by... I, I would certainly <laughs> outlaw the use of. of uh, Military style rapid fire semi automatic, automatic weapons with big magazines. Yeah, the big magazine I think is the key. I mean, I'm, I'm a gun owner, I've been a, so born right. and raised hunting, but I wouldn't mind registering all of my guns. Uh, wouldn't mind at all. Uh, I think it would be a public duty. But I think the key is the magazine. I mean, you can buy a semi automatic Remington deer rifle, <coughs> uh, but I think it's five. Five, four or five shots is all it's all that's legal when you go deer hunting uh -huh. but if you want to kill human beings you can get a 50 shot magazine and, and get a stockpile of them enough to fill a warehouse 